Hi everybody, I am on um, Kelly and CS's page. They are second grade teachers at Meadowbrook and Ann Kelly posed an interesting question. She embedded a calendar that she made in her apps account, but you can see that she manually typed in all of these different school events that are also on the district's, uh, excuse me, Meadowbrook's website calendar. So her question was, can I have those automatically show up? Well, you can, because you can subscribe to the school calendar in Google. Let me show you how you would do that. I'm actually logged in as Ann Kelly, and so I want to get to her apps calendar. So to do that, I need to go back to the Moodle homepage, and I want to... I want this page to stay open. You know, I don't want to lose this tab. I don't want to leave. So I'm going to hold down the command key on the Mac, click on home, because then the uh, home screen will open or the Moodle homepage will open in a new tab instead of leaving this tab that I'm in. All right. So now I'm going to Ann's calendar. You can see that I'm logged in as her. So over on the left, you'll notice that she created the class calendar right here. And we also have other calendars. I'm going to click on this triangle. There are a couple default ones there. But we are going to add the Meadowbrook calendar. So here is how you do that. I already pre-created a tab that has the Meadowbrook homepage in it. Each school has a calendar that's maintained. So I click on the calendar page. And these are all of the Meadowbrook events. So notice at the bottom there is a link to subscribe. And um, when I hover over it in the lower left you can see an address. And that's the address I want to subscribe to this calendar. Now to this is just a little Terry trick but if I hold down the control key and click on this link I get a menu. And in the menu, I can say copy the link location. And just like that, I've copied that address. That's all I need to do here. And now I can go back and subscribe to it in apps. So to do that, you go down to other calendars and the triangle to the right you click on and you can say add by URL. URL is the same thing as a web address. So when I do that, I can now paste either by going up to the edit menu to paste or I like to do my shortcut which is command V or on a PC control V and then I'm going to add the calendar. So now you'll notice that everything in purple is um, are those things that have been added by um, whoever maintains the website and everything in orange is what's been added by um, CS or Kelly. So that means that um, if you look up at this orange event where it says late start, it would not be necessary um, to do that extra work as an individual teacher because that's going to be there maintained by the school. So now we need to embed this in her page with the new code um, because if you go back here to her page, we'll notice that those purple events are not coming in. Oh, here comes my son. It's going to be wild. Let's try to do this very quickly. So what I want to do is I'm going to embed her calendar again, but I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to go fast here. I'm going to calendar settings, and I'm going down to the embed part, and I want to customize. And um, the width, since she's putting it in the right-hand column, I'm going to make something like 175 pixels. The height is maybe 400 and then we want to make sure right now we're in monthly view so we want agenda view um, I think she wants it a little taller so I'm gonna do 500 I can take a couple things off here I think so um, maybe I'll do 180 for the pixels um, alright we don't need the print button there and maybe we don't need the time zone okay so we're going down, now the key here is that the calendar is to display. Not only do I want the class calendar, but I'm going to put a check mark in front of the Meadowbrook calendar. So now in purple will be the things from the web calendar, and then of course uh, Kelly or CS could add anything to the classroom calendar. 
All right, I'm going to update that HTML, copy all this code. I'm going to go back to their page and I'm going to re-embed this. So I have to turn editing on. Go down to that block and click on the configure or the update button, which is the hand with the um, with the pen in it. Now, um, this is code that we're pasting, so we have to click on the HTML button, delete the old one, then we're going to paste the new code, we're going to click on the update button, and then scroll to the bottom to save our changes. And now our new calendar is really a combination of events on the web calendar, as well as the things that are entered manually by the teacher, and that way you can avoid the extra work of those school-wide events.